there are some people in India who are popping their eyeballs out of their skull. beautiful CVPs welcome to my channel it's a beautiful day to be alive if you're new here welcome I'm Caroline von Petzold and I am Jolly Parrots Angelic Parrots okay guys if you haven't already go get your merch go get my book on my website angelicparrots.com let's get them out flying and I have something to talk to you about Okay, Hopi, I need to put the GPS on you. Give me your tail. Give me your tail. Go perchy perch. That's it. Yeah, that's it. All right, good. Are you ready to go fly? Yeah. Oh, beautiful. There's nobody in a park. Beautiful sunny day in California. No hawks, hopefully. Come on, let's take off your harness. There you go. Go fly. One, two, three. <laughs> day to be alive guys we are back in the park everything is great if you haven't seen already go check out my last video we were here in the park and there was this belly dancer um the link is up there so or down in the description so go check it out hope you're out of breath are you out of breath Obi? are you out of breath ah! uh -huh. let's run down this road. pigeons okay ready one two three ah! I'll sit right here, right here in the sun. <laughs> this is fun, guys. I love my kids. I love my birds. They're so gorgeous, so beautiful. Go get your merch, angelicparrots.com. And this is an awesome sweater. Uh, look, angelic parrots, Hopi. And if you can see behind, Check this out. I have my logo right behind me. I don't know if you can see it. Love, love. Hobby, hawk. Come, Hobby. Come, Hobby. Where's the hawk? Where's the hawk? Is the hawk back? The hawk is back. Wait, 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 Hobby. Hobby, okay, okay. Where's the hawk? Where's the hawk? Where's the hawk? Hawk. I don't see the hawk. Where's the hawk? I don't see it. Wow, this lady is walking her dog and holding its uh, mouth tight. Look. She has her dog trained. Ah, oh, that's a good dog owner. Look. Is she a canine dog? No, we're just working on training because she's so crazy. Good for you. She's actually crazy, but this is what we're working on. Calm. She looks so calm. She does look it. I'm really impressed how well she's doing with your bird. Yeah, usually we get chases all the time. She's got a lot of prey drive. That's one of the things we're kind of working on. Yeah, usually German Shepherds always have prey drive really yeah. high. No, 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 no. Well, thanks for training your dog. Many people don't train their dog and they end up chasing my birds. Oh, yeah, no, I'm not up for that. <laughs> I'm not up for that kind of scenario either. Yeah. <laughs> really close at her foot. That's good training. That's good training. I like that lady. Really good training. She knows her dog. Yeah. She knows that her German Shepherd will go right after my bird so she kind of like took it really tight on her uh, what's it called on her side 
and had his mouth like up all the time. Wow, he snout. Okay, so if you have read the title of this video, there are some people in India who are popping their eyeballs out of their skull. Check out this picture. The Sufi Indian in India, the Sufi Muslims in India poke out their eyes during the Urs festival. This is a very sick and twisted religion. What they do is they, um, they disfigure their own faces. This is so twisted and so bizarre. These religions are cults. And that's so creepy guys, because we know that self-harm is not okay. We know everything that is involved in self-harm and self-mutilation or like doing like self-hurting is from the devil. So those people are doing self-harm to worship the gods. It's like a ritual. But seriously, popping out your eyes is a ritual? Like how intense do you have to be to like, like if your god says chop off your arm, you're gonna chop off your arm? Like literally? Like it's so intense because we know if there's self-harm or like stuff where like people like self-mutilate themselves for religious reasons, it's not them just worshiping the gods, but it's worshiping the demons. Everything that is with self-harm and self-mutilation is worshiping demons to satisfy the demons. It's like blood sacrifice. And in the Bible, we know that God didn't like what the nations did. The nations did not good when they are sacrificing their babies to their gods, to their idols. And basically what they're doing is they're sacrificing, human sacrificing babies to demons, to satisfy those demons. So I, when I saw this picture, I was so, oh my gosh, I still can't believe it. it's so grotesque and so crazy and so intense that I can't believe that people are really doing this in the world, like popping out their eyeballs out of their skull and getting rid of an eye just to like worship the idols, like crazy, crazy, crazy. Let's run the mountain down back again. Hobie, are you coming? Hobie, are you coming? Look, come look. One, two, three, Hobie, come. Ah! <laughs> How cuddly is Lobby? How cuddly is Lobby? Love is jealous. Love, you don't need to be jealous. I love you too. I love you too. Hope you're so cuddly today. Hope you're so cuddly. Lobby. Hi. Go perch on here. Go perch. Go perch. Go perch. How cuddly is Obi? Hi! Obi! Oh. <laughs> Hello! Hello! Hello!
Somewhere down the hill. Oh my gosh. How can this happen? How could this happen? Okay, let's go look for the keys. Hobby, go my shoulder. Oh no. I hope I find them. Oh, this is such a big place. Uh -huh. Where are my keys? Where are my keys? Oh. <laughs> Found them. And, uh, we <sighs> guys i just found my keys everything is good now we can go home okay guys if you like this video give us a like comment below what you think about those people who are popping out their eyes out of their skull to worship idols i just want to ask you for a huge huge favor so i have a friend her name is tina you guys know her she's also on marlene's channel her name is tina and she has also highs in macaw so how is it to have a highs in macaw in the house i love her he goes, you absolutely have to get one. He mm -hmm. said, if you can get one, she said, get one. There's not, no other bird like it. Mm -hmm. And she gives me hugs. So Tina has a business and she is a really good friend of mine. And she has a YouTube channel, but her YouTube channel only has 60... 67 subscribers so i know it's not bird content but i just want you guys to like do something good like an act of kindness something generosity something good do something good for somebody <coughs> this week and just go and subscribe to her channel even though it's just a hair business and that's what she does she has a hair business just out of the goodness out of your heart please go and subscribe to her channel i already subscribed to her channel it's samson hair restoration that's her channel i'm gonna link it also below go subscribe and just do her a favor let's get her to a hundred subscribers by end of this week this will be so so cool and she'll be so happy so please go subscribe to teen Tina with Samson hair restoration. Tina, who has all these birds, roll this clip. Nala's a baby. Hi, and you're the great Gatsby. So cute. Hi. watching i'll see you next time don't forget to subscribe and go get my book i love you guys Mwah.